I study acting in Prague in the Czech Republic. My dream job uh, and my passion is acting, but it's not, it's not only that. I, al I also love painting, I like visual arts, and uh, I appreciate music. Just from uh, the point of view of a listener right now, but I love music as well. Well, my passion actually, uh, I knew about it when I was a kid. I had, these, I had this urge to play, to uh, I even made puppets, like from from, fab, <laughs> from pieces of clothes. So uh, I had my passion since I was a child, but eventually I didn't believe that I could pursue it as a career. So I and then I found it recently, a couple of years ago. I realized I would still want to do this, do acting. Not yet, but uh, well, I've done some uh, little things on TV and on commercials, but I don't make money for my everyday life from my fashion yet. My typical day looks like uh, well, I usually go to school. Unfortunately, I have to get up very early, which is not my cup of tea. But we we do what we have to do. Well, I get up early, 6, 6.30, I go to school, I have my classes usually until 3, 4 p.m. And then it, uh, it depends, I either go home or I, oft I often socialize with my friends and uh, in the evenings I visit a lot of theater to learn, you know, from others. So that's basically it. I end up coming home very late sometimes. I get my inspirations uh, I, from basically everywhere. I try to look around me and uh, I also get inspirations from uh, seeing other people work because uh, it's very interesting uh, to see what they do to achieve, to achieve, to achieve what they achieve and uh, it's interesting to compare what I would have done differently and stuff like that. Well, it's difficult to find the time. Uh, I think it's mostly a matter of uh, personal organization, how organized the person is. I am still struggling with that part of it, but I'm trying. I'm trying to balance my time. Well, it is now, finally, but before, no. Well, I didn't have uh, a proper job yet. I did some part-time jobs, but you know, there's nothing much to tell about it. But um, the worst thing associated with a job for me right now is the fact that I don't really get uh, uh, much chance to do something in in the field that I've chosen acting because uh, everywhere they demand some sort of experience. And when you don't have experience, I mean, where should you get it? So uh, that's why I've uh, agreed to be a partner in an independent film production company because uh, I think it's a, for me it's a platform where, where I can start, and uh, I'd like it. I'd like to make it not only a platform for me, but for anyone who's in a similar situation. I think that the only thing you can actually do is uh, do what you like. So uh, to to be to do as many things as, as possible. And um, right now I'm doing it uh, thanks to the independent film production company. That's a tough one because there are so many things in the world. But uh, I think that if I really could change one thing, it would be uh, how people think. I think that the only thing I would want is that everyone in this world would, you know, look at themselves. Really, you know, look at the real life they have, look at the themselves without, you know, illusion. And uh, I think people 
should be more concerned about themselves than about others. That would be great. I don't think I, I personally can recommend anything to others, but for me, I don't have a, one book. I have some authors that I find interesting and inspiring, for example, Osho, or Eckhart Tolle, or Kurt Teprvei. From our Latin classes, Per aspera ad astra, over obstacles to the stars. One, which is the most important, that's I never give up. Keep on fighting. It's tough, but keep on fighting.